Yo, what's up guys, Nas UFC. Welcome back to another tips and tricks video. In this one, I'm going to show you guys my favorite defensive technique that I like to use in ranked, of course, against my friend. And I want you guys to learn this technique. It's called block slipping. And essentially what you're doing, if you see my control on the screen here, you're blocking the first strike, right, with your block, you're standing still. And then as soon as you block that first strike, without hesitating, without reacting to what your opponent throws, you're letting go of the block, you're quickly flicking the slick downwards or upwards up to you and you're quickly blocking again and your your goal is to try evade the second punch right and you're quickly blocking again and you're just trying to gather info you're trying to ask yourself okay did i did i slip the second punch you know and you're you're trying to work out patterns you know and you know when you do this you, it will help you to set up counters you know you're you're burning your opponent's stamina too because they're missing punches and it will get you into that counter striking mindset. So we're going to go into a ranked match here. Right, I've got my controller on the screen. You guys know it's going to be in tips and tricks video when I've got my controller on the screen. There's going to be a bit of input delay because my controller's wired into my PC. But perfect. We've got a good weight class, guys. I can't lie. I'm going to go Alex Pereira. I like using Alex Pereira. My opponent's going to go Nick Diaz. Rip. But here we go. Guys, also another tip. When, when my opponent hits my block, I like to quickly let go of the trigger, then slip, then hold it again. It's just a preference. Sometimes I don't do it all the time. Or maybe it, it maybe don't make any difference. Maybe you don't need to let go of the trigger. But we're fighting Al Sham. Oh my god. I can feel the input delay, bro. It's so much more better playing wired. This guy's a wrestler, I believe. But you're going to see what I mean in a second, you know, when he throws... See that? I'm slipping the second punch. He's throwing his jab. I ducked there because if you f if you spam the slip, they're going to make the read. That's why I ducked the second time. You know? He's in a clinch. Yeah, this guy's a wrestler. I remember this dude. But just gathering info. See how what I'm doing there, guys? I'm not doing the same one all the time. I'm ducking. You can even think about pulling. Like that. Now I'm thinking about the 1-2 combo. Right? He's going to throw that 1-2. So I'm waiting for that jab to come. See that? He didn't throw it, but still, like, I'm ready to counter it just in case it is. This is how I, this is how I think. I'm just giving you guys my thought process. I can see that jab hook he's trying to set. You know? So I'm pulling. He saw me pull, so he might throw a 1-2 combo now. There we go. We got lucky there because we just about evaded that hook. He wasn't in range. He's been hitting my body a few times, so I can think about blocking high and blocking low. That's another thing you guys can do too. Because I'm doing a tutorial, I'm not throwing back as much. You know, I'm trying to show you guys what I mean. He's not the best dance partner too because he's not throwing that two punch combination enough. You see that? I blocked two punches and then I slipped the third. That's one finger that you guys could do too. He's going to set up that overhand. So you can you can slip towards his overhand arm side. That's what I like to do. He's going to go jab hook. Nope. He throws a jab, then he throws a two punch combo. That's what he likes to do. See that? Nah, multiple jabs. Look at our stamina too, guys. We're actually conserved a lot. Hmm, he's not really showing me anything, to be honest. He's playing super safe behind that jab. I don't think I'm losing the round, though, so... He kind of needs to show urgency. I like to fake that hook, guys, that jab hook combo, and then throw straight immediately after. You can time it, you can delay yourself a bit more before you throw that straight to create some good timing. Well, we're going to be patient here. You might throw a two punch combo. There you go, see that? And you guys, you've got to remember, you've got to note down okay, did I land that one two combo? Like, how many times have you used it? Then you've got to think, like, will my opponent make an adjustment? You know, if he. And then, you know, you can just 
you could just be two steps ahead of your opponent every time. You know, you're, you know, this Nick Diaz player, if he was a smart player and he noticed I kept slipping off that jab, he could think about setting up a jab hook. But if I was smart, I could be prepared for that and think about setting up a pull counter, stuff like that, guys. But that little slip fundamental, guys, I want you guys to learn that. It's good. All right. Duck in here now. Guys, remember, I'm using minor fl slips, right? I'm not going like that. I'm slipping just by flicking it. Don't be afraid to throw first too, guys. I'm not telling you guys to just be completely defensive, right? If he keeps clinching you, then don't, don't move back too much. Just stay like where... See that black line by my foot? Stay in front of that. Looks like he's trying to set up hooks, guys. He's been defensive. Let's attack that body, guys. Guys, focus on winning the round. Right, if you focus on winning the round and landing just smart, intelligent damage, the knockdowns will come naturally. Yeah, this guy's the worst dance partner. He's just spamming that jab and with no setup. Oh, I didn't check if I won that previous round. I should have checked the stats. There you go. He might throw a head kick. Pull straight, he tried to do there. Guys, look at look at their fakes, you know, that they do. Note them down too. He tried doing a pull straight. This guy does not like throwing boxing combos. What the fuck? That's a, that's a naughty technique I like to do too, guys. Block the first strike, but then back step. That's a, it's a bit of a difficult one. <laughs> See, he tried to copy me. I'm, I've kind of worked out his jab pattern. He goes jab, jab, jab at that sort of rhythm. So I can sort of like pre-slip his first jab. Fuck's sakes. I threw my combo, then I immediately slipped because I know his first punch is always going to be a jab. All right. I wonder if he took that round. Hmm. Probably he probably just about took it. He even done pretty well in the first round. Cool. All right, cool guys. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna be more I'm gonna be more aggressive. I don't want to bite too too much because perhaps the, I have won the round so you don't get too fooled by the stats because the game's about damage and also if the game's if the game's showing you that the replays you know of your re your highlights usually it means you won the round that's, that's a little trick I know from UFC 4 Remember, guys, it's damage over significant strikes. Significant strikes are a cool way to tell whether you won the round, but you need to make sure you have a lot more. Because a head kick's better than, like, a lead hook. They're both significant strikes, but a head kick does more damage, you know? Double hook combo he tried throwing there. He's back. He's opening up. 
See that? I avoid that his slip, his jab pattern, so I slipped that one. We broke his nose. Now we can set up that straight combo, guys. We'll keep poking his nose. So we fake that hook, throw that straight. Double jab. Front kick on that nose. Some cheeky bubble head. If you haven't watched my kickboxing combos video, watch that, guys. I'm going to show you guys another cool one I like to use. Push him away. This. That's from my combos video. Double jab. This is also from my combos video. Oh, missed it. If you didn't pivot. Right, let's go back to this block slipping, guys. Because we're winning the round. Now we can just play, like, passive. We can just focus on winning the round, right? See that? I blocked the jab, blocked the hook, slip immediately. Because I've slipped quite a few times on the dot the next time he does it. And like, this this defensive technique, it stops pressure fighters from pressuring you because they're too scared to throw. He threw a double hook there because he expected me to slip. You know, he's making the adjustments that I spoke about earlier on. Clinch, why not? He's trying to land that punch off the break, which is kind of a exploit. Oh well. Blame the game, not him. We need to try poke that nose, guys. That's how we get our rocks. He's too worried about it. Dropped him. Was that a drop though? Go for some damage here, guys. Knees body. That's another significant strike, you know. So that was a legit knockdown. It just didn't make it wasn't that impactful because he blocked it. Two stuns. We've probably we're probably two rounds up. I I'll give him round two just to be safe. But we're probably two rounds up. Um he's got that broken nose that, that we can focus. And, yeah, if he ever tries getting aggressive, we can use that defensive technique that I just taught you guys. Go for it again. Guys, he was the worst dance partner for this, I can't lie. But I still kind of showcased it. There you go. Chopped him. Look at our stamina, guys. It's round four. It looks like this. This is my style is literally meta right at the moment. I'm gonna try pull off my combo where I throw that flying knee again. Beautiful. Oh my god, guys! If you want to learn that combo, guys, watch my kickboxing uh, top five kickboxing combos video. And yeah, guys, that's. I'm, I want to go into another match because he wasn't the best arts partner. Fuck it. Let's do another match. Oh shit, we went, we backed out. <clears throat> but yeah, as long as you guys understand what I'm doing, how I'm defending these strikes, you know, it it deters your opponent from, you know, from pressuring you because they know if I just throw wild combos, you're going to slip them. And by the way, guys, you can, you can use it, you can use a slip combo. Oh, I hate this weight class. I'm going to show you guys a trick here. On PlayStation, go to PlayStation Network, test internet connection, and then press circle, and you're done. So you dodge weight classes. And I, as I was saying, guys, you can you can use the technique back to back. If you if someone's throwing a wild combination and you don't plan on throwing a counter back, you can block, slip, block, duck, block, slip, in that sort of format. If that makes sense, but it's a it's a good technique to use when you're stunned or hurt or rocked. That's when I like to use it the most, you know. Um, if if you're confident enough and if it's if it's not a a bad rock, sometimes when you get rocked, your character's all slow and like he's all moving around, you know. 
don't throw a strike back. If if you get hurt and it's not a bad rock, you can tell you, you can still throw punches back. Then use a few slips, a few ducks, and then if you're able to, try pull off a slip elbow counter. That's something I like to do. Right, I've got no clue who this is, guys, but we're going to be doing the same thing. Lock slips. It's my body. Jab hook. Looks like he's going high low. Guys, like I said, you can block high than low if you want. This guy's more of a kickboxer. I have a feeling. Five rounds, so we can be patient, guys. We landed that straight there. Keep track of how many punches you land to, guys. Man, I wish I played against someone that was high, you know, just punching my head in. Because usually I play block breakers all day on my stream. But everyone's being technical today. Front kick lands. Oh, he's hurt. Okay. He look, See he, how he's kind of doing it himself? I'm throwing that jab, he blocks it, then he pulls back. It's a technique high-level players like to use, guys. If I didn't throw that straight, that head kick would have landed. Good pull counter from him. Sorry, the good pull. He didn't really counter off it, did he? This, this guy kind of knows how to block slip himself. One thing I like to do, if someone goes for that moving forward body straight, I like to block it. Just quickly press square to throw a little straight back, you know. doesn't do crazy damage, but it's fast and safe. And it usually lands. Straight. The straight comes in clutch again. You fade the head kick. We stunned him. We're winning the round, so we don't need to take any risks. We, um, I don't want to throw any head kicks, any front kicks, anything he can like, anything he can evade and punish me with. Look at that. As soon as I block that body shot, he's pulling. I like that from him. He might throw something risky here to try and win the round back, because he needs to. Whenever he, he walks back a few steps, I always think he's going to throw a head kick. Especially if he's walking out of punch range. I don't care. If I see his leg move, I'm blocking higher. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to block low. Unless it's really obvious. If you stay close, you can eliminate his option to throw a head kick. Like this. Sometimes people like to run away. Stay close. You don't want him to throw that head kick. So sometimes I have a bad habit of just blocking low and getting head kicked in the last 10 seconds and they win the round back. But yeah, if you look here, we've got two stuns. You know, we haven't landed a lot, we haven't landed a lot of strikes, significant strikes. That's because we haven't thrown a lot. But definitely take that round. More damage. Remember, guys, damage over significant strikes. Significant strikes are cool, but you wanna, as long as you're confident, you want a round. Look, they're showing my highlights. That's another good sign too. <clears throat> Cool, look at our stamina, guys. Round two. Let's run a few leg kicks. I should start. I should try to check them. Guys, one thing I like to do is throw straight. If I get that broken nose, basically one. Knock down. One, two lands. He might slip now. He ducked. I still landed because the tracking's broken. One, two lands. Now we're not going to throw too much because he's he's probably going to get in the hang of my rhythm. We're going to actually just play back a bit. He missed that leg kick. He wastes stamina for that. Start my combo off with a straight this time instead of a jab. Look, see how he reacts. He ducks. He's not going to duck again. He's going to slip. He's not. 
I tried to throw a leg kick. I'm gonna slip. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna duck. Ooh, okay, he went for a body uppercut. Then he went higher the second time. Broke his nose. See that? Full extension of that left arm lands clean on his nose. Breaks his nose. Now whenever we hit that nose, it's gonna make that noise. Real satisfying noise. And it does damage. That's how you get your stuns and your rocks. Landed again. He's hurt. Kick that body. If he hits my body, I'm going to throw that straight I was on about. Just waiting for him to do it now. He's block slipping. He's doing it as well. Hit his nose again. Going to evade, recover our head health, reset. Then come back in. Fake a hook. Straight. Double hook. He ducks it. Smart. He's hurt. Patient, guys. Don't be too aggressive. If he pulls, you pull. Dive on him. Straight. Hook. Straight. Hook. Stand up. Oh, I tried to stand up. There's a minute left. So here, don't take any risks, guys. There's no point transitioning. You know, you can transition if you want. So build your GA. Right, there's just there's no point of transitioning because if he if he hits a few denials, he might go for a submission and damage you. He can take half guard. Just don't let him posture up, guys. There's no point in you going full guard. That's all you got to do here. That's what I'm thinking about. When I play ranked and I know I've won the round, I just don't let them posture up. You can go for that. Beautiful. Just to show you guys the stats again. Three knockdowns that round. He's got a broken nose, you know. Confident I'm going to win this. Look at that. Ew. Guys, the broken nose strat is meta. I'm telling you now. The block slips are good for this game. I can't lie. Look at my stamina, guys. Look at that stamina. It's max. It's max. Slip hook. He's, he knows his nose is hurt, so I'm going to be thrown straight. I need to start my combos off with hooks now to get him thinking about the hooks. Just wait for him to open up a bit more and more. Double uppercut. Nope. I thought he would duck into the second one. All right, if, you, if I keep missing straights like that, he might think about setting up a head kick, just like I was about to say. If you keep missing straights, guys, they, they will try to set up a head kick because you whiff bad when you miss straights. Left hook saves us from getting head kicked. Pull pulls, guys. Beautiful, guys. And I actually, I actually used a block slip right there at the end there. That was actually a beautiful performance, I can't lie. Both fights, I did pretty well, to be honest. I conserved my stamina. I utilized the block slips. You know, I landed good damage, good counters. And, you know, I focused... I focused the damage system, guys. I made use of the damage system. I'm hitting his nose, you know. And I used McGregor quite well there, I can't lie. And, yeah, guys. Guys, if anything, guys, I want you to take... I want you to learn the block slips that I just taught you guys. You know, learn that, practice that. And, you know, it might take a few days for you to master it. It won't take you long to learn it, honestly. But get into that thinking process of, you know working out your opponent's patterns, you know, um, and be intelligent, guys. Don't keep don't keep slipping. I know I, I called it block slip, but maybe block duck, block pulls. You do, mix it up, if that makes sense. And 
the, the meta style in this game, guys, is definitely being patient. And just, you, if you focus on winning the rounds, the knockout, uh, the knockdowns and the knockout and the stuns will come by itself, honestly. You need to, you need to, if you're not a patient person, guys, then you need to really try and be patient. I, w I wasn't a patient player on UFC 4. And when I played this game, I was way too aggressive and I was losing way too many fights. You've got to be patient. The game, the game is forcing you and begging you to be patient. So you have to be a patient fighter. You've got to have those chess battles like you've just seen in these two previous matches. And yeah, guys, that's that's basically all there is to this video, guys. If, if you like this video, please drop a like. Subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.